Hello everyone, welcome to session 6 of module 2, Creating Test Cycles in Jira. In this session, we will learn how to create test cycles and add test cases to different test cycles. So in order to create the test cycle, the first step is to select the project for which you are creating the test cycle. So suppose I'm creating the test cycle for Test Management Pro V1. I'll select this project here. Then you need to click on Test Cycle link here below the Overview tab. Now, the other option is to go to Test and click on Plan Test Cycle. It will open the same window, Test Cycles window for you. Now. Before creating the test cycle, you need to select the version for which you are creating the test cycle. So suppose development right now is going on for version 1.0.0. So you'll be writing the test case for 1.0.0 functionality and need to execute those test cases in a test cycle that you'll create for 1.0.0. So if you're creating a test cycle for version 1.0.0, Select the version and click on create new cycle button here. It will open create new cycle window. Provide the name for the cycle. So suppose functional testing and then description. Provide the description of the test cycle. So I'll say functional testing of admin functionality. function admin function or functional testing of admin module provide the build number so suppose you will be getting just the first build of version 1 product so provide the build number and the environment will be the test environment in which you will be executing your test cases so suppose you are executing your test cases on Windows 7 Professional and Firefox 20. That's the combination. So provide that environment. And then the duration of the test cycle. So for how long you are going to execute your test cases. So select from the date and suppose two. So it, suppose it's if it's a two week cycle, select two weeks there and click on save. So here you'll see a new test cycle got created. Now, this has no test cases there. So how you need to, how you can add the test cases. So if you, if you hover your mouse on this test cycle, you'll see an icon here and you'll, it will say click to view test execution functional testing. So if you click on it, it will give you various options available for your test cycle. So you can add test, you can edit this test cycle, you can delete this test cycle, you can export the tests that are present in this test cycle, and you can clone this cycle. Clone is similar to the test case clone. So it will clone all the, all the features of your current test cycle. So you can rename it to different test cycle and if it's the same environment just leave it same you can change the duration so depending on what your requirements are you can clone so let's add the test cases here so if just click on add tests and you will see that you can add test cases individually via search filter or from another test cycle okay so if you are adding test cases individually so either you can select this drop down and it will list the test cases. You can just say sample test, keep on adding like this, or just type in TPV, the number of the test case, and hit enter. And it will, it will add the test case to the list. So once you have finished adding the test case to the list, just click on add. There was some error that's an exception please ignore it as it's um it's it's not a it's just a trial version so 
and then click on close so now you can see there are four tests that we selected individually being added into this test cycle now if you want to remove some of the test you just need to click on this and just hover over the test case that is that has been added and click on this delete icon and it will delete that specific test from that test cycle the other thing suppose you want to edit the cycle so just click on edit cycle it will open edit cycle window if you want to increase or decrease the duration of the test cycle you can do it from here and save it so it will edit edit the test cycle details other option is if you want to export the test cases so you can export the test cases of this test cycle into a csv format you can just click on save and ok and it will export the test cases of the test cycle into the csv format so if you see cycle functional testing dot csv it will open the csv file for you and list uh, the test cases there now the other option is to delete the cycle so suppose you want to delete some cycles you can just click on delete cycle and confirm deletion it will delete the test cycle then so we we had a look how we can add test cases individually now suppose you want to add test cases via the search filter so in the last session we created a filter search filter of all open test cases so you can see the test case all open test case filter here so if i will select this it will say total test found it's two and if i will say just add it will add those two test cases into this cycle let's create another test cycle by cloning this test cycle i'll say functional testing two version and just change the dates to future dates and save it so in this test cycle all the previous test cases that were in this test cycle get cloned into the new test cycle so you can the delete delete the test cases add new test cases there based on different search criteria so suppose you want to add test cases based via search filter select all open test cases and click add and close it so those, those two test cases will get added in this functional test cycle too so in this session we understood how we can create different test cycles how we can clone the test cycles delete the test cycles and add test cases to different test cycles thank you